Hi there. I'm Peter from the Calva team. Have you been curious about 3D printing and 3D modeling and stuff like that? I have, and I'm super late to the party. Actually, yesterday was the first time I, I started to experiment with it. Because for them, I, I watched this video by Stian Eklund where he models something called an oloi. It's a special object. Uh, it, when it rolls, all of its surface touches uh, the floor on one rotation. Um, uh, and it's uh, one of a uh, class of objects like that. And Stian made, made a model of it and printed it on his 3D printer. And in this video, he shows you how he built it using closure and the REPL. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a fantastic video, nice music, everything. So I, I watched this for a while, long while ago and, and then I found it very cool, but I didn't do anything about it. And yesterday I watched it again and then I just had to check out what it was what I was using and doing when he, when he did this. So he's using a program, an app called OpenSCAD, and for reasons that you will be clear. It is uh, really a programmer's uh, modeler thing. And uh, he's also using this SCAD CLJ, which is like a wrapper uh, around uh, uh the scad language so to speak so it transpiles closure code to to scad and then i looked for stuff that stian had made he has made this this uh experiment project i found that on his github and so i i took that one and i copied it so here is, is uh, my copy of it. And um, I will post a link, of course, in, in the description. But uh, the difference here is that I, that I have made it a tool steps uh, project. And also I have a sub module here with the SCAD CLJ, with my fork of SCAD CLJ. Uh, and the reason I did that uh, is that uh, latest master of Scanselia contains stuff uh, that uh, the latest release doesn't do. So I just wanted to. So if you clone this uh, project, uh, you can just open it in Calva and jack in to it, and it will have Scanselia and everything uh, in it. So it looked like this. Uh, the, the project definition. It only has uh, the dependencies on closure and and SCAD CD, the local SCAD CD that's in the that's in project. And it doesn't have any run aliases or test aliases or anything like that. Actually, this is uh, not a project that you run like that. It's just uh, it's just um, you, you you use this project from uh, from the repo. So let us uh, jack in here. Uh, so now we uh, jacked in and we can open up uh, one of the models here and can open up this open SCAD, um, like that. So that's uh, uh, how it looks. And so I have the VS Code window uh, above uh, the, the open SCAD window, uh, which is showing this uh, rendered SCAD file that lives here. So this file. And uh, I don't know. Oh, like 
uh, let's say take this one and if we load this file in the in uh, the repo there uh, it's uh, maybe ops is playing with me right now yeah let's see if i can do this it goes very slowly everything i think it's the uh, the recording software I'm using that uh, hogs the CPU. But anyway, so this is the model that is uh, uh, being like defined here with this CAD language. I'm not going to go in, in into that uh, at all. I'm just showing you uh, what's happening here. And the reason this uh, actually happens is that this render function is rendering this uh, SCAD code then uh, uh, and the render function actually what it only does it spits out this render or SCAD file uh, with whatever uh, uh, you give it so this right SCAD is actually where the translation happens then so that's all that's uh, all that's uh, happening there and uh, we can see just what happens if we if we change the diameter there to five, and then call this render function. Yeah, so that happened. Um, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, part of uh, the workflow, and you also have you have some other models here. Um, Water plug, yeah. Let's see here, what more? DNS giving us a stand using this hull function. Uh, so if we load that file, yeah, so that this is the, then that's what's happening there. And he has some extender. Oh, that was the one we looked at, right? Uh, in this thing is the thing from from the project you see the the example images that's how this is built using uh, this uh, uh, scad CLA code and so I want to show you I have made some I made an example here very simple uh, thing so if we load this file, this file is different. So when you load this file, it actually doesn't re-render this. And it is because I have a rich comment here where the render happens. But I wanna show you that the workflow uh, I found yesterday when I uh, uh, did this is that I, Instead, I make my own render function in here, and it spits this uh, SCAD file, and um, I have a translation here in my uh, when I'm writing it out, and so that's why I have my own version of it here, and it has this it contains of several objects here. So we have something called the house body here. And let me show you. I made some Calva REPL command snippets here to make it uh, easy uh, to work with this. So I have uh, a command uh, snippet on the key M that runs this render model. And, uh, and I also have one key to C that renders the current form. And I have one key to F that renders the current function. And I'm using these uh, uh, REPL snippet uh, variables that uh, picks stuff out for me. So if we go back here to the example here, and so then I can use that. Um, maybe I can screencast mode so you can see uh the key codes i'm using 
So I have a house in this model I built here. So if I do I did use that render current function uh, uh, snippet that I have made by pressing control alt space and then F because it's what keys keyed on the F uh, on the F key, right? So then I have my house body here. And then I have something called a roof base here. And render that function. So that's that one. And I have a rooftop. That's that. And now you can see here that in this function here they're called roof. Uh, then we compose uh, the roof uh, base and we hull in the rooftop and then we color it. And then if we do this, then we get this uh, roof on this house. Uh, very nice. And then we have the whole model here. Um, so uh, I can show you, we have a name plate also. It looks like that. And we have a label here. That looks like that. And then we put them together and uh, rotate them and translate them a bit. So then we have that. Let me, so, so this looks like that. Very nice, right? And this here you can see uh, the SCAD code that has been transpiled from uh, SCAD CLJ. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the nameplate base and the name label, and then uh, this uh, nameplate and that. Uh, uh, yeah, so we run that right. And then, oh my God. If we would render the full model here, then we can. Uh, of course, just go down here and evaluate the current function. So, so that's that's the full uh, model that I have. Done. Nothing fancy. I've never done this stuff before, so so uh, it's just uh, just goofing around uh, with it, really. But I want to just to show some snippets I made was to, to render current form. So that's good when you're when you're working with some some part of uh, uh, the model, so let's say you wonder what this is, so then okay, that's just that's just uh, the plate, right? And then we can look at this. That's just a sm small cylinder, and then when we run Minovsky on this plate. and this cylinder it will yeah that's actually what creates this rounded rectangle i haven't really figured out how this minovsky uh, uh, thing works i know that the, all the dimensions of of it like builds a new object uh, so that's why i have a really really thin cylinder there so that i shouldn't build height on the new uh, on the new object more height than it had, right? So, uh, yeah, that was just the color, of course. But then if we run this function here, you will see this is the, this is the name plate and the cylinder has made the, the, uh, the corners round here. Uh, or if I were, would want to uh, just render uh, this text, I would use this same. So it uh, horizontal line, sorry, left. And if I run that, then it places uh, the text to, to the left of that.
So, yeah, that's what I want to show you. Um, working with the SCAD CNJ. modeling, uh, using uh, closure code, and the REPL, um, in this case, some Calva workflow help with, uh, with the snippets to, uh, to make you effective when coding. Um, yeah, thank you. That was what I want to show you. I hope you liked it, and I hope you, of course, that you will uh, subscribe uh, to the channel, and like the video.